Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to film a video all about why having less is actually more and how that kind of impacts creating a minimalist mindset. So I'm really inspired to film this video because I watched a video on YouTube the other day about how she, I can't, I can't remember the who it was by, but I'll try and find the video and link it down below. But she was kind of saying how every single thing we have in our possession, every single thing we own, requires attention in some way. So whether it needs cleaning or it needs to be used or consumed or put away, every single thing we have in our possession, in our homes, in our environments, needs attention. And so I'm going to give like a few examples. For example, this pen that I have on my desk needs to be used or put away. These vitamins need to be consumed. This wardrobe that's sitting next to me needs to be cleaned. So everything we have needs requires some attention from us. And when I started to think about my stuff, my things in this way, first of all, I became quite overwhelmed because it's suddenly you realise how much of your time and energy stuff takes up. But also um, you become a lot more mindful about what you want to bring into your space because it does require that time and attention. And even decorative things, so there's like a vase just behind this camera and you know if you have prints and photos on the wall and stuff, even though they're just sort of sitting there and not really doing much, they're purely decorative, they still require first of all visual energy and attention because you know visual clutter is definitely a thing and also they still require cleaning as well so so therefore the less stuff you have the um, less cleaning you'll have to do and the more time you have to do other things that you want to actually do and um, so I'll touch on that a little bit more later on it really does help to make you appreciate the things that you already have and actually give the attention that those things deserve. So, you know, moving on to like clothes, for example, your wardrobe, um, having less stuff really makes you less overwhelmed. I mean, how many times have you looked, stared at your wardrobe on a night out and thought, I have nothing to wear, even though you have a full closet full of clothes? I know I've been there, I've done it, done it so many times. Having less items in your wardrobe not only reduces like decision fatigue and uh, saves you a lot of time worrying about what you need to be wearing every day and, and things like that, but it also means that you actually can wear all the clothes that you own. And this is something that I'm obviously still working on. I've got an awful lot of clothes still, even though I have massively decreased the amount in my wardrobe. And I would like to... And I would definitely like to get down to the point where I'm rotating my clothes that I own, you know, weekly, if not monthly, I'm wearing every single thing I own. So that's the end goal and having less items obviously makes that so much easier to achieve. Another thing that I found has come from having less stuff and how I've gained more out of having less is I have gained so much more time to do things that I actually want to do and work on the things that I want to prioritise. And for me, the two things that I've noticed the most have been reading and also learning Italian. So I have wanted to like be fluent in Italian for like 10 years. I'm, um, I'd say about GCSE level, if not maybe A level level, <laughs> um, because I did do a semester in university learning Italian. Um, and I have just neglected to pick it back up again. Every single New Year's I put up my resolutions to learn Italian and um, it, I just never get around to it because I don't have the time. And also reading. I went for at least a few years without picking up a book and it's one of my favourite things to do. And last year in 2020 and also this year I have read so much more. I've, I think I'm on book 26 of this year and we're only in August so I'm reading so much more than I was and this has really come from minimising other areas in my life so I have massively cut down on um, skincare, body care, hair care, that kind of thing. I used to have so many products for all of these things and when you minimise those kinds of things, I mean if you think about how say you spend 10 minutes every single day doing your skincare then your body care and your hair care or doing your styling your hair for example um, that's half an hour out of the day that you didn't have before 
and it's purely because you've minimised your routines and your mindset around that kind of thing. And there's even this little prompt that comes up on Duolingo which is the app I use just to like top up my Italian and it says 15 minutes on Duolingo can help you learn a language. What can 15 minutes of social media do? And it's so true. I think it's basically just taught me to seriously prioritise the kind of hobbies and activities that are actually enriching me and bringing me joy and fulfilment. And the last thing I wanted to touch on is just how having less stuff enables you to go right back to basics. Sorry, I'm trying to like avoid having the glare on my glasses. It's really annoying. I'm sorry if you can, that's all you can notice. <laughs> but um, I'm going to use the example of skincare again because we're constantly marketing products to solve this problem, that problem, this, that and the other. When in reality, we're probably neglecting the basics of just general self-care in that drinking enough water, um, eating enough fruits and veggies, getting enough sleep every night. And when you just cut the crap, basically, and you strip it right back to basics, um, you're probably going to uh, see better results anyway. And I'm not saying that like you should give up your skincare completely if you really enjoy it or you have acne or something I'm, I'm absolutely not saying that and there's a time and a place I still have a small skincare routine that I love so I'm, I'm not saying ditch these kind of things at all I've stripped my routine right back I think I use like three products an eye cream a moisturizer a retinol I use SPF but that doesn't really count and my skin is really really thanking me for it so Again, I'm not saying completely give up these things, but there's just no need to have like 15 products in your skincare routine. And again, this applies to loads and loads of different things. I'm just using that as an example. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a few things that I've been sort of thinking about lately and I have picked up on when I've been watching other minimalism videos. And I really hope it helped in some way. And if you're inspired on your minimalism journey, then let me know how you're getting on in the comments below. If you want to see any other videos from me, then let me know what you want to see as well. And I'll get that filmed for you. But I hope you're all doing well. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.